What's up gamers? Just in time for the holidays. Let's demo Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. That's right ladies and gentlemen, there is a new Final Fantasy in town. Actually it's not that new, it's been around for at least a year, but I'm just now playing it for like maybe close to a week now. But I absolutely love this game, I love the story, I love the just a lot of things about it from what i played so far i mean you know i'm only in the beginning i may end up hating it in a few months but i kind of doubt that but what i'm liking about this game so far is one the music uh, i'm not sure why it's doing that i think i was in the middle of something recently but anyway uh what you can do in this game is all kinds of stuff but I'll show you just a couple of small things for the sake of the demo. So right now, this game mainly reminds me of your old school classic RPGs like Final Fantasy 4 or Final Fantasy 6. Um, it has its own little story. You can actually collect um, heroes from different Final Fantasies. So as you can tell in my lineup, I have someone from Final Fantasy 9, 15, and Tactics on my team. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. And then, you know, you can have friends that'll help you out in battle. So you can actually, you know, request friends or you can accept or reject friends. Right now, my current friend list is full and I don't feel like removing people right now. I'll just accept them later on when I rank up a bit. Um, so basically, if you go to the Vortex, this will be a lot of your PvE events where you can do things like Final Fantasy VII, destroy the reactor. We'll go ahead and do that just for the fun of it. Um, so let's see. And then you have little um, things you can do, like if you... Use no items, uh, complete the quest, no continues, and clear without anybody being KO'd. You get all these little, you know, rewards like gems, X potions, whatnot. You can pick a friend to play with, or that will basically that'll be your sixth character if you choose to use them. So you know, we'll go ahead and just pick. Um, we'll pick someone that has Cloud because Cloud was actually one of the newest heroes they released in this game, and then we'll depart. Just kind of give you a little bit of a taste of what this game looks like, what it offers. It's, it's really a lot of fun though. Yeah, it actually brought back some of the music on some of the other ones. So what you can do is you can either hit auto, so everybody just automatically attacks, or you can actually select abilities and do that. Oh, look at that. What was that that I just got? You'll see. You'll see. Oh, I love how they do the music in this game. It's just freaking fantastic. Absolutely love this game. Right now I'm just doing random things just to show off what they can do. What everything looks like, you know. I mean, it was on beginner, so of course I'm going to be able to win pretty easily. But right now we're just demoing stuff. And of course it's going to have that, you know, victory fanfare. Why wouldn't it? It wouldn't be a legit Final Fantasy if it didn't have some kind of fanfare like that. So for a bonus, I got a rare summon ticket, and we'll kind of go over what that is. Uh, this is some of the stuff I got, so I got some gill... Uh, some experience was pretty cool. Uh, some people can level up or, um, you know, get other things, learn abilities. And, uh, hey, look, I got completed all those quests. So as long as you do what it tells you, you'll get little bonuses the first time you complete it. And, oh, do you see that? I got 135th skill soldier. I thought I told you. I've always wanted to do that on camera. Sorry. I'm not even sorry. Why am I even saying that? <laughs> so, yeah, you can do stuff like that. And, again, the, the music in this game is pretty legit. I like it a lot. Uh, so that's kind of a taste of what that's like. Uh, you saw that I got a rare summon ticket, so I'll show what that is. So you just go to summons. And then, basically, I go to wherever I want to go. Like, if I want to go to rare summon ticket, I can do that. As you can tell, I have three actual tickets. We'll just use one for now. And we'll show you how it works. So... Okay, I can either get a four-star guarantee 
Or I can get... Oh, okay. I think I have one of each. Okay, I have one of the four-star guarantees and one that's just a random. We'll do the four-star one. Why not? Let's see what four-star hero I get this time. Hopefully, something from one of the Final Fantasies I'm familiar with. Because I'm only going to be using characters from Final Fantasy games that I've played. I'm not going to be super competitive. I'm just going to have fill up my favorites. Which is like 4, 9, 10, 15, 13, and Tactics. We got Sylvia, who I'm not familiar with. Not in any of the Final Fantasy games that I've played. So I will be using her. But she looks pretty cool. Spellblade. I mean, I actually like like how she looks and everything. I think it's actually pretty legit. Like, if I actually was familiar with her, I'd actually use her. But, so yeah, basically you can summon heroes. They come out as crystals. You can level them up, do their abilities. Uh, you can also gain espers. So if you go to Esper's, right now I just have the first one, which is Siren. So you can, you know, tap on her, you can train her, make her learn different abilities. Uh, if you go back, you can then enhance her by giving her certain items that you can collect. So, whoops, it's going a little bit too fast. Come on. It is not cooperating very well. There we go. And boom, I just did something to help increase her bar. Uh, once the meter goes up, she goes to the next level. You know, she does better things. I don't know if I'll be able to show off a summon. Just because I don't know if I'll be in a scenario where it'll actually let me do it. Um, so yeah, they have the arena, which is PvP. I'll be honest with you, I don't have a good enough team to do arena. I've tested it before, I don't stand a chance. Uh, the world is where you would basically do the story mode. Which I guess I could show off a little bit. Um, again, you got friends. If you want to have more friends in the game, you can just, you know, they can request you to be a friend or you can request them to be a friend and add them. And you'll basically, whoever they assign as their leader will be who you'll get to play with as their, as your sixth character, like in the adventure mode and things like that. So I guess we'll go just into the story mode then, just to kind of give you an idea what that's like. So go to world. Um, so right now I'm on the second continent, if I'm not mistaken, or second island, I'll call it. I just went to the port city, and now I'm going to the desert high road. So let's check it out. Let's see if there's any story development. Yes, it does have a story. Yeah, so it's actually exploration. You can walk around, talk to people. Um, you know, they actually communicate throughout the story. You can collect treasure chests. It's really nice. And no, I'm not going to read the dialogue out loud. I'm not like that. I don't do that. I mean, I guess if I was getting paid for it, like if I was an anime voice actor, maybe I'd do something like that, but not for the videos. As some of you are probably like, oh god, blah blah blah, story. It's like, well, you know, some people appreciate story, and I'm one of the ones who do. I actually have two profiles, by the way. One for Big MCC. Which is my original gamer tag growing up. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's my uh, PayPal address, bigmcc18 at aol.com. And then I uh, also have, of course, my Crunkster profile, which is what I use for YouTube. So as you can tell, I'm not too far into the story for those of you who have been playing a while. Because this game's been up for at least a year, probably longer. I've only been playing for um, close to a week. but uh, So basically, this is uh, the story. So we'll do a little bit of that for the sake of the demo. So we want us to complete the quest. No, don't use any magic. Use a limit burst, which is basically like a limit break. Um, that's the general term that people use for things like that. Um, thanks to Seven. And then, of course, I could pick someone that I want to use. Uh, as far as like my sixth party member so it's just a matter of who do I want to kind of show off uh, as somebody else so you know so a lot of people like cloud so we'll probably just pick the person that's using cloud as his leader he also has a different summon by the way he has Rama so that's pretty cool um, but yeah I don't know if we'll be able to show off the summons or not 
I may or may not be over level for this. I am using characters that are lower leveled right now for the sake of leveling in general. So maybe we might see something. Who knows? So yes, there's still more dialogue even in battle. Alright, so basically everyone can use their certain abilities. Uh, so we'll kind of do one of Cloud's here. Um, Gladiolus will do one of his. And then we'll just auto everybody else. Uh, Gladiolus was the very first five-star hero that I pulled off of a crystal, so I'm really proud of that because I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, let's do some other abilities, I guess. It'd be a little different. Um, no, I don't want to use her. Oops, I didn't mean to attack. Oh, well. <laughs> Fine, we'll just auto. Sometimes I forget you have to swipe to look at abilities, not tap. If you tap, it just makes them attack. <laughs> I like the music in this game too, obviously, as you can clearly see. Sure, it's probably not going to work, but why not? We're just kind of playing around at this point. can't do a limit burst unfortunately because nobody's like that meter is just not going up for anyone <laughs> same for the summon but again I love the game I mean you know you have its own characters its own stories but you can recruit people from other Final Fantasies, you know, just absolutely loving it. You can, in towns, you can explore, talk to people, get treasure chests. Uh, I'll probably show you a little bit of that as, as a matter of fact, once this is done. Oh crap, I forgot I'm not supposed to use magic. Oh well. Hmm. I mean, I can go back and do that level over again if I want. But we'll go into a town just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So if I want to go to this port or whatever, right? I can go here and, you know, just talk to people. And, you know, they'll just kind of reach you, tell you different things. If you find someone with a question mark icon, that means they have a quest that you can do. So we'll do that. So once you do something like that, boom, you basically automatically, you know, have access to the quest. It'll actually tell you, you know, how much of whatever item that you're trying to get is. You bring it back and you get the reward that shows below. Now, sometimes it says question mark, so you don't always know, but sometimes it'll tell you right off the bat. And now instead of saying the question mark on the map screen, you see dot, dot, dot. Uh, if you kind of walk around a little bit, you can kind of get around and, you know, talk to other people. Get people's treasure chests. Uh, I'm not trying to buy anything right now. I really didn't mean to do that, but you know, like I said, this game is a lot of fun. You can get treasure chests, as you can see. I got an antidote uh, just by walking around. Yeah, it's it's actually really really nice. I, I'm really enjoying the game. Like I said, just like a classic RPG, um, and it's free, um, free to play. You can spend money if you want, but you don't really have to. It's just not necessary. Oh, look, I, look, I found something. See, if we just kind of explore, it's just like an old RPG. I mean, you just find stuff. Now, this is what's called a uh, Far Plane Monument. It'll basically warp you to a land of Moogles, which I've more or less already done to some degree, but we'll go there already just to kind of show you guys. Uh, there are quests and things you can do here, too. Um, probably not going to do nothing here because I think I've done all the quests I can. But, uh, you can walk around and talk to the Moogles, too. Koopo! Yes, I like Moogles. I like Cactuars. Uh, you can toggle the map so you can see if there's anyone that has a quest or 
if they're waiting for a quest, things like that. And then, you know what, I'm just going to do it. No, not you. My bad. That's the person that wants has a quest for me. You shall not pass, Koopo. I've always wanted to say that. But you really can't pass, Koopo. <laughs> That's just funny. I, I like Moogle. They're just silly, cool little people. This is basically just a vortex that I talked to you about earlier where you can do different mini games. So if I were to say yes, it would take me to the Final Fantasy VII Reactor or other assorted things that you can do. Like, for example, the Winter Chamber. Um, we can try that. Um, we'll do Intermediate just because I'm not that great. And we'll just use... Let's see, who else is someone I'm familiar with that I like? I don't know. I'm not familiar with anybody else here, it seems. I should we'll try this person. Because he's using Noctis, and that, him I am familiar with. I actually do want to get a Noctis one day. So, yeah, let's do part. We'll have Noctis as a companion. So I like how you can kind of test out everybody else's characters. There's also, like, Arena, but I absolutely sucked at that because everybody else on the Arena has, like, super strong people, and I don't, so. So we'll just kind of show them off and let them do a move. It's nice seeing Gladius and uh, Noctis back together. Eh, we'll just do like regular physical attacks for now. And boom, got a candy cane. The candy cane right now is just for a uh, winter story quest that's going on that you can do. I don't think I have enough for the next story, but I can look. Yay for candy canes. Uh, basically, to get to the story, you have to have so much candy to do the story part. Whoops. I can tap on it properly. I've done like the first two episodes, I think, already off screen. Yeah, I'm on three. Um, but I only have 618. So, I'm not going to be able to do that quite yet. But yeah, I mean, you can do a little bit of story stuff. And they have other things they have what's called Enhance, which uh, you can go to the Cactuar Dunes and do stuff there. So let's check out the Cactuar Dunes, why not? Uh, no Limit Burst, clear without anybody being KO'd, and no Continues. Okay. And then I could use a friend, and we'll just use this person, why not? Um, but yeah, I really am enjoying this game a lot. This game is just a lot of fun, a lot of nostalgia. You know, and again, it's just old school. I mean, there's nothing more that I can say that could make it seem better than it is. Um, haven't spent the dime on it yet. I'll just use some abilities just for the sake of showing off. But I hope you guys enjoy this game. I mean, I do. If, uh, I don't know what my ID number is. I don't know what number you can do to send me, like, a friend request or whatever. But no biggie. I mean, I'm sure you'll find me or I'll find you on accident. But this, again, this is just a game that's a lot of fun. And yes, I know I'm kind of doing way more things that I should be against these guys. This is more just showing off, you know. Now I'll just auto and just kind of kill them. So yeah, different modes will give you different things that you need. Um, metal cactuars are how you get, you know, experience without having to actually play and level them. Um, there are other items that you can use to boost your stats, like your hit points, your magic, your MP, you know, and there's a limit to how much you can boost each person. Uh, everybody can be from one star to six stars. 
I've only had five stars, uh, which obviously Gladiolus was my first five star, followed by Dark Fina. I don't know who Dark Fina is, I'm only using her because she's a five star, which I may have already mentioned. I've completed all of the tasks, so I got everything here. And oh look, all these again or um cactuars. And then of course I can go to the uh the next stage of cactuars. And hopefully I can show off some interesting stuff. I don't know if we'll get to that, but we'll see. Right now I'm just using anyone at this point, just for the sake of the video. But lots and lots of fun. Really, really enjoying this game. Um, probably not going to be doing a lot of videos on this, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't really know what I, what kind of content I could really provide. There's still a lot about this game that I don't know. Like, as far as, like, you know, um, what are the best strats to do things in the game. I mean, there's, a, there's just too much I don't know. So I can't really help you out as far as, like, you know, who are the best characters to use and, you know. How, what are the best things to use to level and things like that? Like, I honestly don't know. I'm just kind of playing the game and enjoying it. Uh, but if you have any kind of advice for other people who might be watching the video that might be into this, uh, feel free to comment. Oh no, it's a Gigantar. A metal Gigantar. Hey, we can do a Limit Burst. Alright, so let's do that. Or what we could call Limit Breaks here. So we'll just show those two off for now. See, everybody has their own little limit burst where they can do like special stuff. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to show off a summon. Hopefully if I do this again, I'll have enough meter to do a summon. Probably not, but we'll try. Oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to do a limit burst. Oh well, no biggie. More Metal Gigantars. All right, let's see if we can't trigger a summon. I'm not worried about doing all of the, uh, the tasks and getting the extra gems. I'll probably do it later off screen. This is just a demo though. Hope everybody has a happy holidays, by the way. I think I'm just gonna auto for now and hope that we can just get enough of a burst to do a summon. Because if I think I do abilities, I'm going to be killing them too quickly. And since so I have two mages, I shouldn't be able to do too much damage, which might help, you know, prolong this a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, you critted Vivi. No! How could you? I think you can make him defend by hitting the down. Hmm, no, if I limit burst, they're gonna end up, like, killing everyone. I'm trying to, you know, to, to get, you know, what's her name in play. It, this might not happen, because this is taking way too long. Yeah, you might not see it today, guys. I do apologize. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is just not happening. I mean, they're not going to kill my people, but the problem is I might kill them. Alright, let's see if we can't summon that gauge. Or fill up that gauge. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's summon. You get you a little cinematic and they do some damage. It's pretty cool. I like it. When you can actually do it. <laughs> I know there's probably other modes later where I'll be doing it a lot. Just, you know. 
Still learning, don't know a lot yet. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I do appreciate everybody watching this video. And I uh, hope that this has kind of opened your eyes to something different. You know, uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to be posting really many videos about this. Uh, if you want to see more videos and you kind of have an idea of what you would like me to try to do, I mean, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to be doing uh, many videos on this. This is mainly just for the demo in the game. Again, really, really awesome. Uh, you know, I'm going to be playing this, you know, for a very, very long time. This is probably going to cause me to quit playing other games. That's kind of what this game is doing. Because I'm having a hard time playing my other games because of this. So, we'll see what happens. But happy holidays. You guys take it easy.